Welcome back, everybody, to the Cleveland Cavaliers My NBA Series here on NBA 2K21 for the PlayStation 5. Today, we have Game 3 of the NBA Finals. If you missed Game 2, I recommend you check it out because it ended up being an absolute classic. But we ended up winning in double overtime, 140 to 131, guided by a 50-point performance from Odavia Shepard, who did it on just 29 shots. The rookie, Jason Higgins Wycraft, really stepped up. He scored 29 points, 7 of 12 shooting from 3. Kevin Porter Jr. of 17 off the bench. Kawhi Leonard with a double-double. And it was just all around a really exciting and really fun game. Steph Curry did his best to carry the Warriors. He scored 57 points, 21 of 45 shooting from the field, 13 of 25 from 3. But the rest of the team just could not keep up in that double overtime period. We were able to hold on and get the win. So we're up 2 to nothing in the NBA Finals. All we have to do is win two more games, but it's a lot easier said than done. We barely squeaked away in the first two games at home. So now the next two games are going to be on the road in Golden State. The Warriors know they have to win these two games, so they're going to be hungry. They're going to want it. And it's going to be a major challenge here, not only in Game 3, but also in Game 4, which of course will be in the next episode. Let's officially get this one started here at the Chase Center. The first of up to possibly three home games for the Golden State Warriors. Same starting lineups for both sides. For the Cavs, it'll be Shepard, Higgins, Wycraft, Garrett, Kawhi, and Miles Turner. For the Warriors, they'll be rocking with Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, DeAndre Hunter, Eric Paschal, and James Wiseman. So without further ado, let's get game number three of the 2024 NBA Finals. Underway, Cavs on an inbound. It's Odavia Shepard off the catch and shoot with a three. Shepard only scored six points in the first half of game two. If he can try to set the tone offensively, I think that'd be a big deal. Five to three Warrior lead now. There's Shepard inside for the slam, and he already has a quick five. Now it is eight to five. Cleveland on top. Steph Curry bringing the ball up as he creates enough space there by Shepard for the mid range jump shot. Both defenses are looking pretty strong so far after a game two where there really was not a lot of high-level defense. Kawhi Leonard misses, grabs his own board, and gets the putback. A tough play by the veteran Kawhi Leonard. It's now 12-7. Curry going in. He's blocked by Odavius Shepard. Cleveland on the fast break. Shepard gets it inside. A nice move by Jason Higgins. Wycraft to get the floater. And the Cleveland Cavaliers are on a nice little run. They lead 14-9. The defense has been really impressive. Shepard, tough pass for the claw. Kawhi Leonard, who's been really good so far. He is 7-4. And, and it's now 17-9. Wiseman with it, guarded by Kawhi. Really tough defense, but James Wiseman uses his size to his advantage to make the shot. And it's now 17-11. Kevin Porter Jr. with the pump fake over to Killer Cam Reddish for three. Cleveland extending the lead. It's now 20 to 11. Kevin Porter Jr. on the drive. No defense at all. He just takes it to the cup himself for a layup. And the Cavaliers are on a great start here in game three. Steph Curry has not done a whole lot so far. He does get a nice pass out for DeAndre Hunter, who sinks for triple. 24 to 16 now. Porter with a tough move. He airballs the shot. Golden State trying to use this opportunity to catch up in this game with Shepard out of the game. As Steph Curry hits the corner three, Golden State brings it within five. Now a six-point game. As there's a nice move by Mamadou and Mechunia, the second-year pro out of Nigeria with the mid-range jump shot. 27-19, stolen away by Reddish on the fast break. It's going to be lobbed up for Kawhi Leonard. The claw with 10-5 here in the first quarter. Golden State trying for a last second bucket and they get just that. An and one for Victor Oladipo with just six seconds left in the quarter. Porter called for the foul, confused with the call. Speaking of Kevin Porter Jr., he's going to go for the buzzer beater and it falls. Big shot for Kevin Porter Jr. And the Cleveland Cavaliers with a nice 10-point lead through one. It's 32-22. to Again, you don't want to get too comfortable, but the Cavs look good so far. I don't know why Wiggins passed it out. He had a wide open shot. Gets it back. Fools Reddish on the pump fake and gets the slam. Nice move by Andrew Wiggins. 36-24. It's Victor Oladipo for three. And the Warriors are really trying to keep it in there, but the Cavs are still up by 11. There's Valentine Taylor, the rookie out of IMG Academy from deep. 
Warriors are off to a hot start shooting the ball here in the second quarter. Curry with a tough layup. No good. Tipped by Pascal. Wiseman with it for three. And the Warriors are hitting all of their long range shots for trying to get back in this game. But the Cleveland Cavaliers are holding a steady lead. 44-35. Why not another one? Stephen Curry from deep. Curry has not gotten off to a great start in this game. But he is starting to pick it up. That pass tipped. Higgins Wycraft does recover inside a nice find for the center, Miles Turner, who gets the layup. And although the Warriors' offense is looking a lot better here in the second quarter, the Cavs are maintaining a strong lead. Nice dunk for James Wiseman. And the Warriors bring you within six. Now they bring you within four. Cleveland is starting to fall off the rails a little bit, and Golden State's finally making a dent in this score. Nice slam by DeAndre Hunter. And the Warriors bring you within two. 46-44. Curry gets it over to... Andrew Wiggins, who ties it up at 46. Wiggins, the former Cavaliers draft pick. And then the Cavs on the other end quickly respond. An and one layup for Kevin Porter Jr. 51 to 50 now. Valentine Taylor with an incredible poster on Kevin Porter Jr. He's trying to play it off like nothing happened. But yeah, he just got dunked on. We got to look at that replay again. An incredible move by the rookie Taylor. And this game is now tied at 53, under 20 seconds left in the half. Clay Thompson, tough defense by Shepard. He misses the three. Wiseman with the rebound. Golden State retains possession. Andrew Wiggins inside for the two-handed dunk. And the Warriors are back up by two. Cleveland trying to get a last-second shot. Shepard at the buzzer. It's good. Oh, Davies Shepard will give the Cavaliers the lead going into the halftime break. 56-55, a very rough quarter particularly on defense, but on offense as well there for the Cavaliers, but they do hold on to the lead. Shepard with 12 and 6, Curry with 15 and 5. I feel like Steph Curry's been quiet in comparison to the first two games. He only has 15 points. 58-57 now, nice move by Miles Turner, posting and toasting on the noticeably smaller Stephen Curry. 62-59, Cleveland trying to get that comfortable lead back. This time it's Shepard with a nice move. And it seems like the Cavs are targeting Curry defensively. Five-point lead now. Curry immediately responds with a three to bring the lead back down to two. And I wouldn't be surprised if Curry starts to catch fire and we see the same Steph Curry that we saw in the first two games. Look at that finish by James Wiseman. A goaltending call against Yusuf Diafafafobo. And it is going to be a two-score game. Back and forth here throughout the third quarter. Stephen Curry for three and the lead. It is good. Now 66-69. Nice. Curry with it. Has a little bit of space and he's just going to let it fly. Stephen Curry sinks for three and the Warriors are now up by six. Cleveland needs to get back on track. They need a bucket and they get just that. Mamadou and Enchionia sinks for three. 69-72 now. Fadeaway triple for Oladipo. It's good. And the Golden State Warriors are really shooting the ball well from beyond the arc here in this ball game, particularly in the second and third quarters. Kawhi, tough pass for Mamadou. Really tough step back, no good, but Leonard grabs another rebound. His sixth of the ball game gets a put back over Steph Curry, and it's now 71 77. Curry guarded by Porter at the top of the key. Nobody getting open. Curry just going to use the screens. As he will create his own shot, getting the mid-range bucket to go down. 73-79, now Warriors keeping control. Curry double-teamed, but that's going to leave a wide-open Eric Pascal inside for the paint. A rare, bad defensive play by Kawhi Leonard. Shepard over to Cam Reddish for three, and the Cavs bring it back down to five. A big bucket there. Cleveland needing to get some confidence back. And then on the following, possession! Look at that slam, a jamma by K -K -K Kawhi Leonard. 78-83, Leonard denied at the rim. Nice defense by Wiggins, but he gets another putback to go down, and it's only a three-point game. I think all things considered, the Cavs have to be happy that they're only down by five now as Curry gets a last-second shot. The full quarter from Kevin Porter Jr. is no good. We've got ourselves a ball game. The first two games are very close. This one is as well. The Warriors up by a little bit, but this one definitely not out of reach. Valentine Taylor with a great pass for Robert Williams. Golden State, their biggest lead of the day at 9. 82-89. Cavs trying to get back on track. Nice layup by Odavius Shepard, who currently has 18 points. 
Cleveland now on the fast break. Shepard to Garrett to the corner for Jason Higgins. Whitecraft for three. JHW has not nearly played as well today as he has in game two, but if he can get some shots to fall in the fourth quarter, that could be a big deal. Nice steal by DeAndre Hunter, former ACC Defensive Player of the Year at the University of Virginia. And the Warriors would not capitalize off the turnover. Clay Thompson misses the mid-ranger. Cavs get it right back. Shepard with it. 4.45 to go. Nice move for the lead. So Golden State does not capitalize off the turnover. And Cleveland is making a run at this thing. 87-89. Shepard again misses this time. A great defensive stop there. Clay with a nice play and a great rebound for Wiseman. And then Valentine Taylor on the other end. No good. Misses. But Robert Williams gets the putback slam. Warriors up by four. 87-91. Here's Cedric Garrett, who's been very underwhelming here in the finals. Gets his pocket picked by DeAndre Hunter. Hunter takes it himself. Gets the layup. This time, the DeAndre Hunter steal leads to points. And it is now a six-point Warrior lead with 3.10 to go. Miles Turner gets some space, hits the triple. Turner with 9-9 nine and nine today. He's been really impressive. Maybe his best game of the playoffs so far. 90-93 now. Warriors need a bucket. They get one. Courteous of Steph Curry, who hits the mid-ranger. Cavs down by 5. Lionel Hollins calls time. And then look at this. The Warriors take the charge. A great play by Klay Thompson. The Cavs could have really had a nice opportunity there with Shepard driving inside, but Clay Thompson with a really nice charge. And then Eric Paschal gets the slam to put Golden State up by seven. Cleveland now in the fast break. Points here would be a very big deal, but they get another charge. That was Eric Paschal that time drawing the foul. A great play by him, and Golden State is playing really smart basketball with these charges. Big three throw, Davia Shepard to cut the lead down to five. This game is not out of reach at all for the Cavs, but they need to get some stops, and they need to get some buckets. DeAndre Hunter with it, tightly guarded by Reddish. Hunter, big shot at the buzzer of the shot clock. It's good, and it's back to a seven-point game with just over a minute to go. Cleveland needs some more quick points. Shepard inside for a one-handed dunk, and that again brings it back down to five. 95-100 with under a minute to go. Can Golden State hold on and get the win? Well, with the Cavs' defensive plays like that, the answer could be yes, as DeAndre Hunter is left wide open for three. Seven-point game. Now, I think another bucket would be the icing on the cake. I don't know why the Cavs aren't fouling. Pascal with the layup, and that pretty much does it. Golden State is up by nine with about 13 seconds to go. Cleveland's going to be heaving up some junk. They get that one to go from Cedric Garrett, if that makes him feel a little bit better. And now it's time to play the foul game. Cavs with tight inbound defense. Curry nearly lost it, but he does get it back, and he's eventually fouled by Kawhi with 5.1 seconds to go. Curry would sink both three throws. Golden State would put the scrubs in already. Cavs keep the starters out. As Shepard, step back for three. No good, but it doesn't matter as the Golden State Warriors will take game three of the NBA Finals. And it looks like this is going to be a tight series after all. The Warriors went into this game knowing they had to win. And although this was a very tight and hard-fought battle, the Warriors got the win. 36 points from Steph Curry. He didn't have to do as much as he did in Game 2. But he did enough in order to get the win. Hunter, Wiseman, Oladipo, Pascal, and Taylor also in the double figures. For us, Shepard had 25. Kawhi was really impressed if he had 20. But nobody else really played all that well. And I just don't think the team as a whole was very good in this game after two really strong performances in games one and two. I know that's easy to say because we lost today and we won the first two games. But I don't know. I just feel like something was missing from this performance. It didn't seem like a lot of guys really stepped up in this game. And that's why we lost. The Cavs do still have the control of this series, but that sets us up to a pivotal Game 4, which will be next episode in Golden State. If the Warriors can win that game and tie the series up at 2, then things can get real interesting. If we take that game, get a 3-1 lead, we will be in a good position, although the last time the Cavs and Warriors were in the finals and at one point it was 3-1, it didn't go well for the team who had that 3-1 lead. Hope everybody enjoyed. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Peace out.